Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. So this afternoon, I've decided I'm going to take the afternoon off from the field and uh, make my squash pie. Now I'm going to use a pumpkin pie recipe with pumpkin pie spices. I, you know, there, there's no there's no pumpkins like we would be uh, used to in the States. The Halloween pumpkins, that's what they make pumpkin pie out of. Uh, but pumpkin is a squash and this is squash. This is the only kind of squash I've ever seen here uh, locally So I'm gonna give it a shot. Why not? It's what I've got and I really miss uh, Some pumpkin pie So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop out uh, these seeds and I'm just gonna boil them boil it in the skin in that pot there and after it's tender I'm gonna uh, scoop the flesh itself out and uh, strain it. <clears throat> Add some water to it and strain it. And uh, hopefully that'll work. Now look, I don't know if these are mature enough. I do notice a little bit of color difference. This is a little bit smaller one. It seems a bit lighter yellow. This seems a bit darker. But you know what? The pumpkins in the States, they can be uh, you know, even smaller than this, and the, the, the pumpkin meat is still fine. You can be all the way up to hundreds of pounds. So I don't think size is really an option, or is really an, an impediment. Uh, this is an experiment, so I'm just going to try it. All right, so because I'm missing one ingredient, lard, I'm not going to make a traditional crust. A traditional pumpkin pie crust. I'm going to make a graham cracker crust. I do have that and I've got butter. And it's just three ingredients. It's just butter, um, graham cracker, and sugar. So I also don't have any nine inch pans. So I'm going to make a double recipe and just put it in this uh, 15 inch cake pan and hopefully it'll set. That's the only thing I'm worried about is whether or not it's going to set. So we shall see. So I'm going to start uh, making up this graham cracker crust. Alright, so I'm also going to be making a double recipe of this graham cracker crust. Now normally for one nine inch pie you would use a cup and a half of graham cracker. But since this is going to be a double recipe, you use three cups. We're going to call that one. Looks like we're going to get two cups out of one package. Luckily I have two packages. So that's two. Alright, so that's three cups of uh, graham cracker. Now look, I don't have the, uh, I don't have a measuring cup with the ounces marked on the side. So, um, the single recipe calls for six tablespoons of butter. Uh, a tablespoon, amazingly enough, is a half an ounce. So, what I need is, uh, for a double recipe is six ounces. I don't have any way to measure six ounces, but a half cup is four ounces liquid measure so I'm going to pour in a half cup of this melted butter and then a quarter cup looks like I didn't quite put enough in there so I'm gonna, I gotta melt a little bit more it was just a wild ass guess and it looks like I was about a tablespoon or two short. Alright, the single recipe calls for a third cup of sugar. And this is a double recipe, so I need two thirds cups. So I'm going to use a half cup and about this much more. That might even be a little bit too much. Um, it calls for white sugar, but uh, let me get a little more flavor with it. If we use brown sugar, and I'm going to put just a couple little sprinkles of cinnamon in that. 
All right, so there's the bread and crust. I'm going to pre-bake that for about 10 minutes and as hot as this oven will go. Um, I'm going to watch it though, so make sure I don't burn it in. But this thing's on max max, so it's heating up now, it's preheating. <coughs> so I'm going to uh, pre-bake it a little bit before I add the pumpkin mixture. Alright, so I've got four cups of this pumpkin. Now we had diced it up before we boiled it, so um, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to, I need another half cup of that. And I'm used to using uh, 15 ounce cans of uh, pumpkin puree, and four cups is not quite 30 ounces. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. But uh, I just want to smash the, the, uh, I had thought that I would have to strain this, but it came out so well, and it's not stringy at all, that I don't have to strain it. Alright, so that basically four and a half cups of squash puree. We've added six eggs, because I like it with extra eggs. And then we're going to put both of those cans of sweetened condensed milk. So we're going to put two to 347 grams. I think that's only uh, 12 ounces. I'm used to using 14 ounce cans because that's what they are in the States. So uh, maybe I'll use part of another can. All right, yeah, so as I expected, these are only 12 ounce cans. So I'm four ounces short. So about that much, I'm thinking. All right, you can save that, Jen. So now for the spices. Now these spices, look, the last time I was making pumpkin pie in the States, I was just buying the pumpkin pie, the McCormick pumpkin pie spice pre-made and a little bottle of it, like this big, which was really only enough to make four pies, I think, or two pies, I can't remember, but it was almost five dollars for that little thing of spices. Amazingly enough, this ginger, this is 250 grams, I forget exactly how much each of these were individually. But we're looking at ten dollars for all of these and i have cinnamon so um i don't know i could make 50 pies with all this might be a little short on the cloves but uh, i've got enough ginger and nutmeg there to make uh, maybe a hundred pies i don't know all right pumpkin pie is actually a fairly simple recipe so uh, you can get the pre-made pumpkin spice, of course, but, uh, and some people will substitute the cinnamon for allspice. Uh, I just like using cinnamon. So, two, ta uh, two teaspoons of cinnamon, this is a double recipe. So it's two teaspoons of cinnamon, uh, one teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of nutmeg and one teaspoon of cloves and uh, a teaspoon of salt which I haven't added yet. Good thing I remembered. Alright also one teaspoon of salt. Come on focus in there camera. There we go. So one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla. And as Maricel says, mix mix mix. I would use a mixer, but I don't have the transformer up here. The mixer we've got is one that I sent from the States, and it's 110, and have to use a transformer to be able to use 220. So I'm just going to whisk, whisk the crap out of this, really whisk it well, and put it in the pie shell. You get a little taste of this. That's going to taste like pumpkin pie. Alright, so I took this out of the oven. It's been in there for about 10 minutes. It is 
not in focus, now it is. So I'm going to, as gently as I can, add this puree. Uh, that turned out looking great. It's actually the, the correct color. So I guess I'm going to come over this way. I don't want to wash, I don't want to make a, like a hole in the, in the graham crust. Well, that just filled that up just right. All right, so cooking time. Now look, you're supposed to really get really get after it for the first 15 minutes, like 450 or so, uh, and that's just to get it hot and get it going. That I've never I've never seen 450 in its life, uh, and then turn it down to like 325 for another 30, 40 minutes, whatever. I'm just going to bake this for an hour, uh, as 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 hot as that oven will go, and hope for the best. All right, so it's in, it's baking. I've got the timer set for an hour, so I'm gonna come back in an hour and uh, pull it out. You know, kind of it's got a little bit of jiggle right in the center, it's done. Um, a toothpick inserted halfway out. If it comes out clean, halfway out from the center. If it comes out clean, it's also done because it, it uh, pumpkin pie finishes its set after you take it out of the oven when it cools down. So uh, we'll see. Hopefully this sets. I, I'm worried that we're not hot enough. So we'll see. All right, let's see here. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to give this five more minutes. All right, well, there it is. Uh, it seems to have set up nightly, nicely. So I'm going to let it sit there for about an hour, and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator overnight. And tomorrow we're going to test drive it. I, I already tasted the pumpkin before I put it in there. It tastes like a pumpkin pie. Um, it doesn't look exactly like a pumpkin pie right now, but uh, I think it'll be nice and solid. So all we need is some vanilla ice cream. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.